Lightning Downs credited members and followers. Here we are out on the course, myself and Barry. We are, uh, we're going to give you a little insight to some of our feature holes here at Downs Crediton, uh, how Barry would, would play it and hopefully give you a few tips as to how, this, how to play this golf course efficiently and in the lowest amount of shots possible in anticipation for your return in two weeks time. Are you ready Barry? I'm ready, shall let's, you go for it? Let's do it. Okay, so our first feature hole is our, our second hole. It's a par four, 434 off the white tee, stroke index three. Um, off the ladies tee it's a par five and we're just another sort of 25 yards shorter there um, we've got out of bounds on the right we've got the the river yo am i right saying the river yeah, yo, yeah, Dev? Yeah. the river yo going across us here so it's one of those key holes where we don't want to incur penalties at the, at the very least if we can keep penalties off we're going to we're going to score some kind of reasonable score so if you're a person who doesn't fancy their driver, maybe you feel you could peel it out to the right and hit it onto a railway line, maybe it's time to think about using a different club. Um, or if you've just got a club you're not very confident with, this is not the hole to use it. So use a club, ideally driver because it's a long hole, but if that's not your club, use a club that you feel you're gonna strike nicely and have a relatively straight shot. For me personally, I tend to hit driver a lot and I'll certainly hit driver up here because it's such a long hole. I'll tend to start it up the left hand side and try and fade it back towards the middle which will allow us to have a straightest shot in without getting caught up with the trees on the left. But for most people this is potentially a three shot hole. Use a club you're confident with, use a club that you feel you can find the short grass and then tack your way up and let's make no more than a five or potentially six if, if the yardage means you're not going to get there until your fourth shot. Brilliant. Let's go and see where your drive finish, Barry. Okay, so we're in the middle of the fairway, which is nice. Um, we're about 200 yards off the tee. So again, maybe whatever club that is for you. But again, we're just trying to not incur penalties, which potentially is going to add shots to our score. Well, definitely add shots. So what we're left with then here is still quite a long way to go, and it's certainly not in, in range. So again, it's all about trying to keep it, keep it up, the, up the fairway if we can. Um, we've probably got in total, I don't know, about 280 yards to go maybe, probably a bit less. So if we can just sort of move it up there about 150 yards, we're going to have a sort of a, a slightly shorter than that in. Again, we're just trying to keep that big number off our card, but play it in a, it's not a negative manner, we're going to play it positively, but just in a strategy that's going to work for us. Okay, so we've moved up the fairway a little bit now, probably potentially to where some of the longer hitters might be trying to hit their tee shots. Um, maybe 250, 260, we've got about 170 yards left to the, to the green. It narrows here, so you can see if you've aimed, if you've hit it left, whether you've aimed left, tried to fade it or drawn it, we've hit it in the area where we, where we could well be on the fairway, but we're still blocked out. And it's a bit more of a high tariff shot to try and create that, that curve. Um, so again, that's the, the, it's a great hole and that's the difficulty level of it. Not only getting it long enough to be able to reach in two, but hitting the shot that enables it. If we walk across the fairway here, obviously the flag's not in at the moment, but we can begin just to see the left hand trap. And all of a sudden, if we manage to negotiate the right shape of shot to find the middle of the fairway, now it all opens up in front of us um, with about 170 yards to go. So this would be the ideal place to be for the longer hitters. But again, you don't want to be leaking it out to the right, fir trees, uh, penalty areas, out of bounds. And obviously going left is going to be a, a potentially half a shot loss there. So let's walk on up the fairway. Okay, so we've progressed up the fairway. We're about 100 yards from the green now. So this potentially is an area where the person who's hitting that short tee shot has hit their second shot to here or maybe the longer hitter who's found trees or the rough either side has negotiated to move it here to play their third shot here. And again, the, this is a shot, this is sort of a potentially a bread and butter shot and something you can work, that should work on very much. Um, but once you're here, it is just how good you are with those distance clubs. The key really is getting here in no more than one or two shots to make sure your score is gonna be something you're gonna be pleased with. Okay, so we're up at the green hopefully negotiated here in two or three shots. And, and it's got a, a sort of slope to it. There's a couple of pin positions there where if you get beyond the flag, so you've got a downhill putt, you're gonna to have to be a little bit careful. Um, if you're going off the back of the green there, 
See, obviously just drops down a bit, so that can leave a tricky chip coming back down and back down the hill. Um, but to be fair, if you're playing that approach shot in and the flag's anywhere around the middle of the green, then something at the, the front third is always going to leave you a nice uphill putt um, to hopefully get a result that you're looking for. So in, in conclusion, it's a really strong, it's the second hole in the round and it's a really strong hole, a good long par four, and certainly one of those holes that you want to feel comfortable off the tee certainly so don't although it's a long hole don't feel you've got to hit a driver feel you're hitting a club that gets you in play and you can start and tack your way up and walk off with a, a score that is happy with that moves you on from the second hole so there we go i hope that's uh, going to help you out when you come and play our uh, our second hole and uh, barry's tips and advice there are going to mean you're going to score as efficiently and as low as possible on that hole, it is a toughie to start the round off. Uh, if you just look up behind me and Barry, this is the fifth fairway, it's looking absolutely immaculate. Uh, the course is looking brilliant for your return. We can't wait to have you back. Over the next week as we return, we're going to put some more feature holes out, show you how to play them and hopefully give you the best possible chance to score well around Downs credits in the 2021 Club of the Year. Yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoy our little videos and um... Keep swinging.